So this is day two of these two weeks to try, and um, I'm glad that you're with me on this journey as I, um, I'm on the pathway to my first triathlon sprint on June 26th. As um, we go through this, these 14 days, now only 13 days away, um, I've been share I'm sharing with you some of my journey, my training, the lessons I've been learning. And one of the things I decided early on um, that in my training for this triathlon sprint that I would um, provide this at least one, most of the time, two days of rest. Um, now these last two weeks there would not be two days of rest. There's only going to be one, but that's always on Sunday for me. Um, I've had the conviction for a long time that it's the Lord's Day, and it's the day of rest for me, and a chance to be not only with my church family um, throughout the day on Sunday, but also with my uh, family, with wife and kids, and a chance just to simply rejuvenate. And it's important in life um, not to go so hard that you never take a chance um, to find rest in the Lord, or to find personal rest, physical rest, mental rest, emotional rest. And um, so that's one of the principles that Renee and I have had um, really since the, the first year of marriage, that Sundays, the chance to rest and rejuvenate. We go very hard throughout the entire week. And so it's, I always look forward to um, a Sunday afternoon nap whenever it can come um, to get a chance to rest. Sometimes it doesn't always happen. But um, and so today is actually a day of rest for me, even though it's the second day of the blog. Um, it's a day of rest, and uh, I'll be training hard the rest of the six days of this week. And so I want to encourage you, find your place of rest. Um, to make sure you get a chance to um, not only find rest for your body, but take an opportunity to find rest for your soul, too. All right, God bless. Enjoy your Sunday.